Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video, we will consider to determine the four point circular convolution of the given sequences, wherein x1 of n is equal to cosine of 2 pi n divided by capital N, x2 of n is equal to sine 2 pi n divided by capital N, n varying from 0 to 3 using time domain approach. So this numerical I would say it is one of the most easiest numericals. I would recommend you to watch this video till end so that you can understand how to find four point circular convolution of any given uh, sequences. Yes. So what is the output y of n equal to? So here uh, they have said, so let me start with the solution. It's been given n equal to 4, capital N is equal to 4. They say it is a 4 point uh, DFT or n varying from 0 to 3. Hence, capital N must be 4. So what, what do you understand by that? So I'll, in this expression, I'll put uh, n equal to uh, 4 and I'll, I'll vary small n 0 to 3 so that I can find x1 of n and x2 of n as discrete samples, as 4 samples. So that task uh, will do it now. So let me write x1 of n is equal to, it is uh, cosine of 2 pi small n divided by, uh, in place of capital N, I'll put it 4. Similarly, and x2 of n, which is equal to sine of 2 pi n divided by 4. So what I'm going to get now, x1 of n is equal to cosine of pi by 2 n, correct? And similarly for x2 of n, I will get this as a sine pi by 2 n again. So now once it is done, I will uh, vary n as 0, 1, 2, 3. For n equal to 0, first let me find n equal to 0, I am going to get x1 of 0. So in this expression, I will put n equal to 0. I am going to get cos 0. What is cos 0? Cos 0 is 1, which is a very standard result. And x2 of 0, so I will put a 0 over here, uh, sin 0, sin 0 is always a 0. So these results, I know it. So based on that, I will write the answer. So then, let me put n equal to 1. If I put n equal to 1, I am going to get x1 of 1. So in this expression, I will put n equal to 1. That is cos pi by 2. Cos pi by 2 is always 0. I know this. And x2 of 1. So in this expression also, I am going to put n equal to 1. I will get sin pi by 2. Sin 90 is 1. Sin pi by 2 is always 1. Similarly, let me put n equal to 2. Uh, I will get x1 of 2. So what is that? Uh, 2 and 2 would cancel. I am going to get cos pi. Cos pi is minus 1 which is a standard result. And x2 of 2 is going to be, again it is uh, 2 and 2 would cancel. It is sin pi. Sin pi is always uh, 0. So it is 0. So similarly put n equal to 3. So if I put n equal to 3, the last value x1 of 3. It is the cos 3 pi by 2. Cos 3 pi by 2 is again going to be 0. So if you don't know how to remember these values, make use of the calculator and put the calculator in radians mode and uh, type in cos uh, 3 pi by 2. We will get it as 0. Similarly, x2 of 3. So this is the sine 3 pi by 2. It turns out to be minus 1. So now we got x1 of n and x2 of n as uh, four discrete samples. So now I can process and uh, uh, further I can find the circular convolution. So let me write therefore x1 of n is equal to 1, 0, minus 1, 0. Similarly and x2 of n is equal to these are 0, 1, 0, minus 1. So let me write 0, 1, 0, minus 1. So now the task is done. Uh, if I know what are the inputs in uh, discrete uh, samples. So now I can find y of n. Therefore y of n is equal to x1 of n circularly convolved with x2 of n. So I know the formula for this. What is the formula? It is summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of m into x2 of n minus m two parentheses that indicates it is not just a shift rather it is circular time shift correct so now i can find the answer 
So how do I find it? So for that I'll uh, make one simple table. I'll put n. I will put x1 of m, x2 of m. Uh, it's not just x2 of m. It is x2 of n minus m. And la la lastly I'll put a y. So these are the four columns. And n varies from 0, 1, 2, 3. It can take four different values. x1 of m is nothing but x1 of n. So that value I know it, which is, which is uh, 1, 0, minus 1, 0. So that remains uh, same 1, 0, minus 1, 0. So let me write that 1, 0, minus 1, 0. So for all the things, it remains same 1, 0, minus 1, 0. For 2 also it is 1, 0, minus 1, 0. And here also it is 1, 0, minus 1, 0. So now x2 of n minus m. So how do I find this? For this, I have to make use of a circle wherein I can uh, find the answer uh, very easily. So just let me draw one circle. And in that I indicate uh, four points. And I will write the things uh, x2 of n, x2 of m in clockwise direction. So it is uh, 0, 1, 0, minus 1. So if I read it this way, I would call it as x2 of m. If I read it this way anti-clockwise, I would call it as x2 of minus m. So whenever n equal to 0 here, it is x2 of minus m. This is what we are looking for. So I would read it this way, 0 minus 1, 0, 1. So let me write it, 0 minus 1, 0, 1. Is that correct? So now this is x2 of n minus m for n equal to 0. So now I need to multiply term by time, add them and get the output y. 1 into 0, it is 0. So let me write everything, 0 plus 0 into minus 1, 0 plus minus 1 into 0, it is 0 plus 0 into 1, 0 which turns out to be 1. Correct? Similarly, now I want x2 of 1 minus m because I'll put n equal to 1. I would get x2 of 1 minus m. How do I get that? Consider this, shift the signal to the right and whatever I have to the extreme right, take it to the left. So it becomes 1, 0, minus 1, 0. Correct? Again multiply everything. 1 into 1 that is 1 plus 0 into 0, 0 plus minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 plus 0 into 0, 0. So I'm going to get 2 here. Correct? Similarly, shift this one more time. So I'm going to get 0, 1, 0, minus 1. So what I'm going to get? 1 into 0 that is 0 plus 0 into 1, 0 minus 1 into 0, 0 0 into minus 1, 0. So everything turns out to be 0. So lastly, shift uh, this thing one more time. So I'm going to get minus 1, 0, 1, 0. So what I'm going to get? 1 into minus 1, that is minus 1. 0 into 0, 0. Minus 1 into 1, minus 1, 0 into 0, 0. So minus 1, minus 1, it turns out to be minus 2. Is that correct? So initial condition, yeah, this was 0, I guess, yes. All zeros uh, turns out to be 0 only. 0, 2, 0, minus 2. So ultimately the output 4 point circular convolution. Therefore, y of n is equal to 0, 2, 0, minus 2. Minus 2. So this is the final answer 4 point circular convolution y of n equal to uh, for these uh, inputs x1 of n and x2 of n. I hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I would definitely address those uh, doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on digital signal processing. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.